Nigerians are living dangerously on keg of gunpowder through your poor policies, Obasanjo mocks. Tinumbu, former Nigeria president Olusegun Obasanjo has scolded the president Bola Tinumbu led Nigeria government, saying Nigerians are now living dangerously on a keg of gunpowder through policies poorly and thoughtlessly implemented or bad policy and no policy at all. Obasanjo just stated this in Abuja while giving the keynote address at the public presentation of the book titled Reclaiming the Joy of Africa, written by former Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, who also served as Minister of Finance, Ulushegun Agonga. President Tinumbu, represented by his special advisor on monetary policy, Olawali Edun, also unveiled the book. The former President Ulushegun Obasanjo just said over the last 63 years we have not lived up to expectations we have disappointed ourselves we have disappointed africa we have disappointed the black race and we have disappointed the world he however added that what shegun agonga has tried to identify atomize and recommend in his book is the way forward both the beginning of chanting a new cause for ourselves is to admit our failure because we have not always put the round peg in the round hole. We are carried along by ego and emotion of self, self selfishness and self-centeredness, ethnic and religious jingoism with total lack of understanding of the world we live in and gross misunderstanding of what development entails and how to move fast and continuously on the trajectory of development. Obasanjo identified two of the major issues that were in are related in terms of factors for all round development. These are people, these are peace, security, which we cannot achieve without justice, equity, and inclusive society. And telling ourselves the truth, we have not done well on these scores in the recent past, in the last decade or and a half. I will also point out the issue of education, where over 20 million children that should be in school are not in school. We do not need an oracle to tell us the consequences of that for tomorrow. We do not even need to look far for the remote causes of banditry, Boko Haram kidnapping and other organized crimes. We are living dangerous life, dangerous on a keg of gunpowder, driving more people into poverty through good policies, poorly and thoughtlessly implemented or bad policy and no policy at all. He added, hmm. Baba Yabo, you too, you have contributed uh, to the problems on ground. Of course, I know that you recognize the fact that uh, uh, because of selfishness, because of ego, because of uh, being power drunk and all of that, which you yourself, you have passed through. One thing about Obasanjo is that he will talk, uh, even if other people pretend, even if you are going to come for him. Of course, he knows that people are going to say, yeah, even you too, why you were there, did, 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 did. But the question is that if we are blaming the people in the past and people who where suppose where we were yet to be leaders, they will still be complaining the same thing. But once they get there, the mistakes of others, they could not use that to learn and make adjustments. They will still do worse things, and that is what is happening to Tinumbuna. Of course, it's going to be mocking him because he said that was the reason why he didn't even support him in the first place. Let's be truth. Let truth be told. This Tinumbu's government, ah, is just it started on the wrong notes. Very, very wrong notes. Wait, see, you know, even if you give people allowance six months before it starts to the show in color, and uh, this uh, boy, boy, be whatever I do, the man that is his economic, uh, whatever, <laughs> with all the noise they were making. Ah, this guy, oh, this guy is a professional, this guy is this. With all this, is we are saying, <laughs> this other man, uh, Rewani Bismarck, I saw, I started, I was surprised, I started hearing him talking. He used to talk before, he used to tell about economic uh, policies and what has what the government is supposed to do. But as so, as long as uh, Buari employed him as uh, one of the economic uh, team or whatever, we didn't hear from him close to two or three years. Now that uh, he's no longer with Buari now, he's beginning to talk. What are you saying? He's beginning to talk about economy and this and that. This country, Nakuz. Eh? Uh, cause, well, I know a lot of people will come for Obasanjo <laughs> for where now today. That does not change the fact that uh, you are suffering. That does not change the fact you can continue to blame Obasanjo 
Mm-hmm. But what you are experiencing, now, you need to hold somebody who, the person who is there, you need to hold that person accountable of what you are going through. Because what Obasan Joe has done in the past that did not, that did, he did not do right, the new person who is there now should be able to correct it. So why is it doing the same thing? You had very good opportunity to fix Nigeria. Instead, you made politician allowance attractive and umungos, which is one of our problems. So why is it that this one cannot correct it? We don't pass this super story. I beg. What stop your, uh, you the APC government, your APC government, you have been supporting for the past eight years from fixing Nigeria. That is it. Then what is stopping your Jagaban to do the same magic he did in Lagos? The glory of federal government's influence in Lagos covered Tinumbu when he was a governor. That's made that made you made most of you think it's good and worked. The lack of social media then also played a great role to cover his flaws. Only taxes and covetousness is sabi. Those who are the receiving end of excruciating policies are the ones that will turn a mere waste of admonishment to a subject of unwarranted bashing of the former president at a period when our voices must be loud towards sustaining criticism on what those who are in power now are doing, which they had spoken against vehemently while in opposition. We wanted Udua. Udua has come, but if you remember that Udua Ufebi. This country is just uh, for politicians, their families, and their appointees. Until political offices are made to be less attractive and monuments wise, corrupt politicians will be doing everything to make Nigeria dry. Please tell him so. Suggest better policies to him, period, as a former head of state. He won't take it, forget it. Like I said, this a. Uh, Edu, this Edu man, I forgot his first name. They said he's a, he's a seasoned uh, uh, economist. All the one with the they give her, what do you take and take? So another person and I won't take. <laughs> he, won't, he won't take it. We are just a society uh, existing in Nigeria, not living. Who am I to comment when the might who led the country on this path said it all? But the question is, will they be courageous enough to vomit all what they have eaten and publicly apologized. APC as a party enjoys making life miserable for their citizens. Please advise him, OBJ. Life is very difficult for the masses. You have spoken well, Baba. This is time for sober reflection for Nigerians. Look at what our former president is saying. May God help Nigeria. The credibility of the president select is zero. Which good policy did you make when in power? Somebody is asking OBJ. See this one. OBJ Nigeria are not suffering. We are enjoying this government to the fullest. The current government doesn't even have a direction or pattern. We don't even know whether there is a government for now because the hardship is getting out of control. So guys, let's say your opinion and I will see on this.